the National Cleanup Production Center South Africa aims to empower industry through this instructional video series. Our previous video focused on what is RECP and why is it important to industry? This video outlines the first steps of how to go about implementing resource efficient and cleaner production or RECP in your organization. To ensure success with implementing RECP, keep the following in mind. RECP is a continuous and ongoing journey. The RECP implementation is a systematic, step-by-step -step process. Implementation involves balancing the business case with the environmental cause. Integration of RECP into an organization works best using the learning while doing approach. Implementation shouldn't start with large investment options. And RECP is a team effort. So where do we start? Step one is planning an organization where evidence is assembled as to why the business should embark on the RCP journey and lays the foundation for embedding it within the organization. The first step is completing a pre-visit questionnaire or PVQ. The PVQ is a checklist used to gather preliminary data on your organization's products, processes or services relating to resource utilization, associated cost to company and resulting trend patterns. A PVQ tool with easy instruction is available on the NCPC website. After completing the PVQ, hold an inception meeting to get commitment from other key members of the organization and make sure all affected and influencing parties attend. Ideally, the inception meeting members should also form the core RECP team responsible for championing the implementation of the system. Agree upon the objectives, resource allocation, roles and responsibility, as well as the scope and boundary of the RECP implementation. Step 2. The pre-assessment looks into operating practices and resource consumption patterns to identify RECP opportunities or focus areas requiring more detailed investigation. The key activities include data gathering, a walkthrough of the plant or facilities to see what is happening on the ground, and identification of some no or low-cost quick win opportunities to foster management and staff buy-in. The pre-assessment specifically looks at unit operations within the production process, material and energy flows, housekeeping, safety and occupational health practices. Step 3 is the detailed assessment that is informed by the focus areas identified during the pre-assessment stage. Here, the focus is on gathering more detailed and accurate data. This data is analyzed and interpreted to develop the required energy and material balances, to discover where energy and materials are used in the organization and where losses occur, and to then identify options to address them. Additional data gathering is done through walkthroughs of the organization's facilities, interviews with respective process or production staff, or where required, measurement campaigns. This additional data gathering assists the assessment team to better understand any constraints or challenges that may need to be considered in the assessment recommendations. Often, the solutions are well known amongst the production staff, but for various reasons are not implemented. Step four is the feasibility analysis. Before beginning full-scale implementation, we pause to interrogate the proposed solution options and to assess their viability from an economic and practical perspective. This step ensures the recommended options do actually meet the organization's return on investment requirements, have a positive environmental benefit, and are technically feasible. You are now ready to take the next steps. Please check the next video for a systematic guide on how to achieve real resource savings in your company. The National Cleaner Production Center South Africa is a program of the Department of Trade and Industry hosted at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. For more information, visit www.ncpc.co.za.